Sarawak, a land full of fascinating facts. Dozens of ethnic groups living harmoniously with a colorful variety of culture and tradition. With a fantastic range of natural wonders like Mulu Caves and the Reflisia, added with a unique history of the White Rajas. So how much do you know about Sarawak? Let's have a simple quiz. Question 1. Rajang River is the longest river in Sarawak. Now name the shortest river in Sarawak. Question 2. What is the largest bird found in Sarawak? Next, who was the first woman to be in the legislative chamber? Name the first Sarawakian to qualify for the Olympics. And last but not least, who was the first recording artist in Sarawak to cut an album? For those who cannot answer all the questions, there is one book that can give you all the answers. Which is... Published in 2001, it was truly an amazing book. A huge effort was needed to compile all those facts to be made into a book. So let us spare a few minutes to see how this book became a reality. How did the concept of this book came about? And whose brainchild was that, please? Um, sometime in the year 2000, when I was still working in the Chief Minister's office, Chief Minister's wife, Dr. Ama Laila, approached me when I visited her uh, uh, house in the Jaya. She said, why don't we do a straw book of records at this moment? And she said, I'm sure you can come up with something. So that's how it started. And that's how we came up with a committee, which was about 80 member committee. To gather all the information, leaders from related fields were roped in. Tuan Sri Laila herself was the patron and Tan Sri Dr. James Massing, the chairman. James Ritchie was the project coordinator. The editorial team is as follows. And so we got this group together and we had a series of meetings and things started falling into place. We subdivided it into uh, something like uh, 10 chapters. Chapter 1 was on human world. Chapter 2, animals and plants world. Chapter 3, natural world. Chapter 4, Arts and Culture Chapter 5, Entertainment and Literature Chapter 6, Landscapes and Architecture Chapter 7, Developed World Chapter 8, Business and Industries Chapter 9, Sports and Games And finally, Chapter 10, is on human feats and achievements. Well, this came up when we discussed about it. It was not one man show. Everybody played a very important part. Of course, the sponsor was non, none other than uh, my very good friend, Dato Haji Muhammad Tufail bin Mahmoud. So, are you happy with the book? And is there anything to be improved? Well, when the book was produced, I we were all 
congratulating each other. But we didn't look deeply into it. I was just a coordinator bringing people together and telling them, hey, you missed this out, you missed that out. There's so much more. When I look back now, when you look from now, in 20 years, from 20 years back, at that time, it was 50% not complete. Now, I think it's probably uh, only 40% complete. But over the last 20 years, a lot of developments have turned up, like Tapanda Lela, Boni Gustin, Gustina, our, 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 our Paralympic gold champion, you know? and so many others have, have come into the, uh, into the forefront. No? So, any plans for an updated version? I don't know. Nobody wants to do it because all this takes money. So, somebody from the government has to take the initiative. Hopefully, there will be an updated version of the book in the near future. Now, let us look at the answers to the short quiz. For question 1, the answer is Miri River, the shortest river in Sarawak. The largest bird in Sarawak is the Lesser Ajutan Stock. The first woman in the legislative chamber was Dato Tra Zander. The first Sarawakian to qualify for the Olympics was Baladita. The Avengers first recording artist from Sarawak to cut an album. Thank you for watching.